okay, today is actually a very beautiful day out here in Daegu. Um, and today the kids took midterms, which means that I got to go home early. So I'm going to go for a little walk and just kind of show you around the neighborhood. Okay. Okay, so I'm leaving my apartment, my apartment right now. Frequently there are these uh, things, advertisements on the door. And this is my keypad that you punch the numbers in to actually get inside the door. And I live on the third floor, so now I'm going to go down these stairs, just kind of a view of outside. Okay, this is outside here, the street on which I live, and this is my apartment building. Okay, so as you see, one thing that's interesting is that there are no stop signs at the intersections and the actual roads are a little narrow so I think you'll get an idea of that um, these are some apartment buildings it's called Highville uh, apparently they're quite fancy very ritzy down this road is where one of my favorite restaurants is see that orange restaurant the one down there okay that one 24 hour 24 she that's where I eat all the time it's okay to eat by yourself and they have like kimbap which is really seaweed paper and rice wrapped around some like lengths of vegetables it's actually really good it's kind of like sushi but there's no fish in it, so they call it kimbap. Um, so, as you see, this is why the roads are narrow. Double parking. Um, there's a lot of these sort of like alleys. Um, but it's not dangerous here at all. This is the chum, or, uh, well, it's another market. These are very common here um, all over the place. Um, height. Heights the Korean beer. Oops, gotta get out of the road. Yeah. So that's one thing that's a little scarier is that cars could be coming at any time. Um, and this is a little alleyway. This leads towards um, the lake and also towards Home Plus, which is like sort of a big target. Um, they have several stores like that here. The one's called Lotte World. Uh, there's Home Plus. And then there's also E-Mart. And I know Home Plus, I think, is British owned. Um, a little sort of garden. I'm trying to give you an idea of the houses. Frequently there's like balconies where people dry their clothes and stuff. Um, and lots of the roofs kind of have this. There's a lot of gated areas. I'm assuming people with a little more money probably live behind those. Um, this is one of the main roads. Actually, the roads don't really have names here, so I'm not sure what the name of this road is, but in my mind it's the road by the lake. Also, it's a famous uh, honey maker um, lives actually I guess in there then this is where all the honey is made um, so that was kind of neat I didn't actually know that I lived so close to a honey maker and I also live by many really nice restaurants so pretty much down this entire stretch uh, it's actually really hard to decide what to eat because there are so many nice restaurants. Um, that Ganga place is like an Indian restaurant and that should be pretty good. Um, I don't think I ate at Napoli. I did just eat at this place called the Tasting Table yesterday and that was really nice. Uh, 
the lake is that way and uh, it's kind of neat. I'm not sure what that spaceship is. Sort of like a space shuttle. And let me see. Wonder where Home Plus is. So that building right there is Home Plus. Uh, it's just the giant towers. And I pretty much orient myself in this area based on that and the fact that uh, Susong Lake, which is like the artificial lake is just in there and hopefully I can get get in there and take a little walk around for a moment after I stop at the store.